The psalmist invited people, all the earth, people everywhere, to sing a new song to the Lord. Although we see today in Christian contemporary music them singing a new song to the Lord, we are told in Psalm 96 that we are to announce his salvation and his deed, which would solely bring God glory. I want us to reflect on the songs and the lyrics that are sung in our churches today. Do they announce his salvation and his good deeds? And ultimately, do the lyrics bring God glory? Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord bless his name proclaim good tidings of his salvation from day to day tell of his glory among the nations his wonderful deeds among all the peoples for great is the lord and greatly to be praised worship the lord in holy attire tremble before him all the earth let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all it contains. Let the field exult and all that is in it. Then all the trees of the forest will sing for joy before the Lord. For he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples in his faithfulness. So hello everyone and welcome to this week's RLE. RLE CCM edition. So I am, by the time you see this, I probably won't be under the weather, but as you all know, I pre-record my RLEs. So I am actually recording this on February 11th when I was still a little bit under the weather. So I don't want people to think that I'm sick again, because I'm not um, I'm just recording it today. So anyway, with that being said, as you can see on the screen, we're going to be dissecting this completely two minute, five second song of utter nonsense by Lauren Daigle called Kaleidoscope Jesus. Wow, is all I have to say. So let's go ahead and dive into this week's RLE CCM edition. You go out of your way to make me feel like I'm the one you love. So question number one is, uh, chapter and verse when Jesus goes out of his way. I, I don't I don't understand what that means. Because for God, he has no respecter of persons, right? Maybe I missed that verse about Jesus going out of his way. You take on a different shape. It, this just bothers me already. You take on a different shape. She has no clue what it means to be born again. Throughout the entirety of the song, you know that she does not understand what it means to be born again. I, The spirit is indwelling in me, so that means I am a mini Jesus walking around. Spirit indwells in you if you're born again. Jesus is not taking on a dif different shape. I mean, I could go a step further and say, is she a modalist? I don't know, because that's what they believe. But th this is... Every time I see you in someone. So how does Jesus, Lauren, take on a different shape every time you see him in someone. Jesus is the same in everybody. He's not going to take on a different shape in, in different people. That biblically makes no sense. It's in the heart of the neighbor on the corner In the spirit of a little girl's eyes In the hello from a stranger at the grocer In the people passing by There's a joy I there's certainly not a joy that I feel right now hearing this song. The joy is not there. What is there is the fact that people actually think that this song and this particular artist represent the Jesus of the Bible because she doesn't. When you reveal, oh, oh, how colorful the many ways you mean. What's the colorful ways that Christ meets us? I would love to know the chapter and verse in that. 
I can't find that anywhere. I've, I've tried to search high and low. If you know the colorful ways that Jesus meets us, I would like for you to list the verses, not your opinion. Can't believe the places that we see, yeah. Where are the places that we see Jesus? Again, not your opinion. I want chapter and verse, please. Are your revelations are so genius? Well, of course, his revelations are genius, genius, because he's the son of God. He's God in the flesh. Of course, he's brilliant. Well, what revelations are you talking about? Kaleidoscope Jesus. Kaleidoscope Jesus. So the music's going to play, but I'm not going to let it play. We'll just slide right into the next part of heretical Lauren Daigle. Yet again, bringing in the masses with her funky little Narlin's beat. Just when I think I know you well, you show me you are unpredictable. Jesus being unpredictable is kind of the same lyric when Jesus, when people call Jesus reckless. He's not unpredictable. He's the same God. He never changes. Uh, clearly, she's missed that verse as well. But again, not your feelings. Go ahead and let me know what passage speaks about Jesus being unpredictable. Not your feelings. I want chapter and verse. Thing. A thousand stories I could tell of how your love is not so typical. So how is his love not typical would be my question. And, and that's the thing is people want to form Jesus into something that he's not. Jesus is constant. The world is what's chaotic and unpredictable and changing. Not my savior. You're with the sinners hanging out on the fringes. So if Jesus is hanging with the sinners on in the fringes, what is she giving a hard pass to people just hanging out? So is she telling me that, let me just go out to the bar? Because again, Jesus is not presently doing that. Misunderstand the passage in the Bible, and maybe that's what she's gleaning that from. But but no, the sinner's hanging out. He, no, he's not with the sinner's hanging out. Or in. Instead of staying safe inside, you're not afraid to be. Instead of saying safe inside, I, okay, we're almost done, I promise. Staying in the trenches. You're not afraid to be seen in the trenches. Well, Jesus is never afraid, Lauren. And lyrics like this, th th she doesn't see God as holy. She's, she's mocking. This is what she's doing. She's a mockery. She's, she's mocking my Savior. To save a lonely life, there's a joy I feel. Yeah, well, I don't feel any joy right now. And first of all, we are... Um, the church were the ones who are supposed to go out and share the gospel. So again, I, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, Lauren, you, you make no sense. So I'm not feeling a joy right now. What I'm feeling is kind of mm, mm, little, mm, I won't do it coming up. When you How colorful the many ways you meet us. Wow. Can't believe the places that we see us. I can't believe that people actually pass this off as Christian music. I just can't. All your revelations are so genius. Kaleidoscope Jesus. Kaleidoscope Jesus. Well, um, go through and fast forward the music. <laughs> So I would like people, please comment below if you've made it this far. Um, where do you guys see Jesus? I'm, I'm wondering where. Uh, All your revelations are so genius. Kaleidoscope Jesus. Kaleidoscope.
And that's the thing with these songs is they're catchy. The beats are catchy. They want to bring people in. Um, please mark and avoid Lauren Daigle. Like, really? It's amazing. And I know people won't because her concerts still sell out. And she's extremely popular. There is nothing remotely biblical about Lauren Daigle. She doesn't stand for the real Jesus at all. She's a mockery to who he is in every way. Can't believe the places that we see. Again, I can't believe people pass this off as Christian music. Your are so genius. You know what's genius? Is when people actually walk away from this and say, I don't need to be entertained anymore. Yeah, that's genius. Kaleidoscope Jesus. Kaleidoscope Jesus. Wow. So, yeah, there's that. And uh, that's it for me this week. So until we meet again, uh, bye-bye. RLE CCM Edition.